फाइव सेकेंड्स I am extremely happy to be here with all of you at the International Day of the Disabled Persons. This occasion signifies the triumph of the human spirit and India joins all other nations in saluting it. I extend my hearty congratulations. and greetings to the winners of the national awards for the welfare of people with disabilities this year these national awards recognize the outstanding achievements of these persons with different abilities they symbolize that disability is no impediment to attaining excellence and that disabled people are second to none in any activity i would like to facilitate the awardees in all categories especially the disabled persons whose extra dedication and courage have been recognized through this award equally important are the institutions and individuals that have helped bring persons with disabilities into the mainstream i am pleased to see in this hall so many award winners and other dedicated persons who are themselves disabled or working for the cause of the disabled each of them has carved a place for themselves in their respective fields india's history has had many people with outstanding abilities who transcended their physical limitations the philosophy of sage asht vakra the bravery of rana sanga the poetry of surdas are a cherished part of our heritage such people have been the torch bearers of our society shedding light and bringing hope and courage to millions of people today too there are many talented persons in music dance painting literature who have surmounted physical challenges to achieve their goal for example the artists so dedicatedly pent using only their foot and mouth and create such wondrous pictures ved mehta one of our foremost writers cannot see the national award day is an appropriate occasion for introspection and future planning the task before us is challenging we need to prevent disability we also need to train and rehabilitate disabled people through education training and productive employment prevention and early detection of disability needs good health services nutrition family planning and immunization programs like the pulse polio have to be strengthened in this connection i am happy to announce that the national pilot project for early intervention to prepare the mentally challenged persons to integrate with family and community that i had inaugurated in june this year 
is being extended to cover 1 lakh children. We can take the help of technological progress for the disabled persons. I would like that the price of all such aids and appliances is reduced through appropriate social and government intervention so that even the poorest person can use these devices and improve the quality of his life. The physical environment in which the disabled life and work has to improve facilitating access to building and public transport can go a long way to easing the difficulties which disabled persons encounter. Constructing ramps, modifying transport, etc. will help create a barrier-free environment for the disabled. Such efforts would give greater autonomy to the disabled. Society owes this much to our disabled citizens as often it is the socio-economic conditions that have created the disability. We must use the many scientists, engineers and technicians both in the government and in the private sector to research and develop techniques and products that will benefit the disabled. The social sector has so far been the responsibility of the government. Liberalization is now transferring more responsibility on the private sector. The government and the non-government sectors have to work together, especially in the social sector. Laws have to be changed to facilitate the disabled. Society's attitude too must change from pity to active compassion. Only then can the disabled get their rightful share of all benefits that society can offer. Healthcare, education and employment are the critical areas where the disabled need greatest support. They also need social rehabilitation both within their families and in their neighborhoods. There are rigidities in the system because of which the disabled are not able to use even the facilities that the law provides. There are few facilities that will help them even cast their vote. These legal, administrative and physical barriers must be removed. The government, NGOs and professionals have to get together and identify how to provide these critical services to the disabled, especially for disabled women in rural and far-flung areas who are the worst sufferers. We must pay extra attention to the northeastern states and to Jammu and Kashmir. I again applaud today's awardees for doing so well in their chosen fields despite several odds. Their success is due not just to their indomitable spirit but also to the wholehearted support of their family and community which needs to be acknowledged. India has to work tirelessly to create a society 
where the disabled are fully integrated in the daily lives and in the hearts and minds of all of us. They too are a part of our precious human resources and they too can and must contribute equally in nation building. I hope and trust that this shall be achieved in future. Stop.